Today we're gonna visit somewhere I've wanted to visit as a kid. I'll give you a hint. You're lost today, kid, but it doesn't mean you have to like it. So if you guess Petra, you guess right. Right now we're at the entrance here. I think they call it the Seek. It's basically a huge gorge that's one kilometer. We follow this one kilometer gorge all the way to the inner part of the city, Petra. We'll get to see the Treasury, which is this building that you've all seen in Indiana Jones. So we're gonna go through this uh, little one kilometer Seek and see what the city looks like. Okay, we're making our way through the canyon. We're probably about halfway. And I just want to show you what it's like. You can see right above me, this is the top of the canyon. Maybe make a little bit, it goes all the way up there. So it's gotta be, I don't know, 20 or 30 feet tall up to the top of the canyon here. And it's actually like a really narrow canyon. You can see kind of a better view of how narrow it gets right there. Um, so like I said, this is one kilometer that takes you into what I imagine is sort of like the heart of the city, but it's like really, really amazing. It looks like this was formed by I don't even know if a river was here one day. I heard that if there's a flash flood, water kind of like runs through here. Um, so it can actually be pretty dangerous, but it's very wild to walk through this like long winding cavern with these tall, narrow, tall, narrow walls here. Uh, we're gonna check in again when we get towards uh, the center of the city. Hopefully we get to see the treasury. Right, after about a, uh, I'm gonna say like a 25 minute hike through this canyon, we have finally come up on the entrance of the treasury. So are you ready to see one of the seven wonders of the world? I'm psyched, here it is. Okay, we've made it. This is quite possibly one of the coolest things I've ever seen. If you ever saw Indiana Jones, you know that the end of the movie takes place here in the treasury. Now the treasury is this building right behind me that's built into the side of the canyon. They say that it's about 2,000 years old. The city itself was built thousands of years ago and at some point the city was lost, right? People either deserted it or they didn't know that it was, it was here any longer, it was no longer in use. And somewhere around 1812, I guess it's a Swiss explorer came through this canyon and found this, right? So this is the part of the entrance to the city is a treasury, but apparently there's much, much more to go as you go up this canyon. So if you can only imagine this guy who's an explorer, who's looking to find something, and he finds this cut into the side of a canyon, it's incredible. Uh, I don't know much else to tell you about this, except to say that uh, it's 2000 years old. It's pretty incredible carved into the side of the mountain. And if I have to give you uh, one little fun fact, if you see the columns here, you see how smooth these columns are? If you've ever been to Washington, D.C. or any of those places with the monuments, you notice that the columns aren't smooth, right? They have these grooves that look like this, uh, and they go up, up, up the column. The reason for that is when they first started making columns, and they were making them out of wood, basically this came out of, I think it was Egypt, what they would do is they would plane off the bark so they'd have this like fine wood as the column. But when they planed off the bark, they made these divots. And so those columns that were made of wood had divots in them. And when people came uh, you know, to discover these cities and meet these people and share their culture, they saw the columns and they just replicated the way they looked. So it was sort of uh, began as something that was more of a function and then it ended up being something that was just sort of fashion. But we're gonna continue on through Petra, but this is one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. I watched Indiana Jones as a kid and it was absolutely amazing. I loved every second of it and I've always wanted to see this. But you can see the people behind me, they have camel rides, they have horse rides, everything that you could ever want, and they take you through the canyon, and you can even hike up to the top here, which I'm gonna try and do a little bit later, and you get kind of like a downward view of Petra. But we're gonna continue on and see what else the city has to offer. Okay, before we set off to go explore the rest of Petra, we're gonna actually hike up here, and we're gonna go to the top, I don't know if you can really see it, and you get an awesome like downward view of the treasury, which is supposedly really cool. So we're gonna hike up this, it's kind of like rocky thing up here, and uh, I'll meet you guys at the top. We made it. Uh, I'm not usually super scared of heights, but we're kind of up here. You can see that's the ground down there, and that's the, the treasury. Uh, actually, a really awesome photo opportunity. So now we're gonna go explore the rest of the city. So 
walking through to get to the rest of the city. There's a ton of shopping here. Uh, you can see right behind me, there's just all these like little shops here that sell a bunch of these Petra trinkets. Bunch of camels, hey guys. Uh, so there's just like an unlimited, uh, unlimited amount of shopping here. And it's just, as you keep walking, it gets more and more amazing here. Just like these canyons that go winding all throughout the city. And uh, the reason you see so many camels and so many horses is because you're not allowed to have any automobiles. I saw like a golf cart or two, but that's probably for emergencies. But the only way that you can traverse through this canyon, if you don't want to walk, is you either take a camel ride or a horse ride. So they even have like uh, the Indiana Jones horse ride where you kind of like go through the canyon just like Indiana Jones did. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I didn't do it, but uh, I bet you that's really fun. So we're going to keep going through. Apparently, so the treasury is only one of 800 structures uh, that are like it here at Petra. So there are probably 799 other ones that are similar, not quite as large, not quite as intricate, but still, you know, all over throughout the city. So we're going to try and see as many as we can. Okay, just to give you an idea, we're walking along and it's just like this huge expanse, but right now we're going to go right up to there and it's kind of like another miniature treasury. up and uh, check it out. So interesting fact about Petra, I think I said earlier that it's, uh, they call it the Lost City, and obviously they call it Lost City because at one time it was lost, but what happened was the city flooded. So what actually made this city flourish was that they had access to water and they could transport things. But at some point, uh, the flooding became too cumbersome for the city and people either left or it was just completely lost uh, for thousands of years before it was rediscovered again. So that's pretty interesting. Um, we're still hiking up. This is tiring. I've heard that it's like, to get to the end of Petra is basically seven miles out and then of course, you have to do seven back in. So there's a lot of like hikes up the canyon to get all these different views. So it's hard to decide where you want to do, sorry, it's hard to decide where you want to go in order for you to kind of conserve your energy. That's a, that's a donkey, they're making all these crazy noises. But continuing to the top, we just have uh, probably like 15 more minutes of hiking. Okay. We made it. It's a lot of steps to get up here. But check out this view. That's pretty amazing. That's really awesome. Um, and then you hike up to the top and you get to another one of these sort of treasury looking things that's carved inside a mountain. Um, it's pretty incredible. You look at this and you think they just built it, but really they've carved it into these mountains, right? So they're using the stone that, that makes up the mountain to carve out these these tombs, which is what a lot of these things actually are. Um, there's nothing in them now. There's not like any placards or anything, but what I read was that a lot of these things are actually tombs. You can see up here, but you can imagine this is probably somebody pretty important because we're high up here. The view is incredible. Um, and you're sort of like in a prominent place. You can see how far down we are. Um, so it's pretty impressive, but we're gonna trudge on. And you can see it looks like you go through uh, another part of the canyon. We're already a few hours into this hike, um, but we're gonna go probably a few more and see what else is out there in Petra. Moving on, now we're headed to the monastery. The views just keep getting better and better. I mean, we're just like out here in the this huge, like desert, I don't even know how to describe it, but we're headed up to what they call the monastery. From what I've heard, it's uh, several hundred steps up to the top, but that the view is spectacular and the monastery itself is spectacular. So we're kind of walking through here on these, they're not cobblestones, but this stone street uh, really starts to wear you out. Some of the parts are sand, so you start to get pretty tired. According to my Garmin, we've done like 11,000 steps. So while that might seem like a lot, we have to do the 11,000 to get back because really the only way in is the way you came out. So the last push here is gonna be to head up to this monastery and uh, check out the amazing view and see what it really looks like. A 
all these travel videos I watch on YouTube make this hike look a lot easier. We're at 500 steps, and man, we've hiked far. You can see we're like, the canyon dips down, 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 down. We walked all the way up, and the whole way up, you get knocked over by these donkeys. This guy just stopped. You want to say hi? Hey. See ya. Kind of scaring me. He's going to bite me here. He's going to kick me, but oh, I'm exhausted. We have like 300 more steps left. Okay, we've made it to the top. This is the view. We're so high up right now. We're at like 11,000 feet. You can see the mountains behind me. We had to earn this. It took us a couple hours to get up here, but definitely, definitely worth it. Back here, you can't really see it, but it's a desert. It's Wadi Rum. Um, absolutely incredible. You can even see some people, there's a guy, there's like a tent out there. There's people who are living right on this mountain, who are just like living off the land. Okay, I lied, I'm not leaving yet. We hiked up just a little bit further, a few more minutes for the most incredible view that you will ever see. Look at this. We are high up in the mountains here, overlooking the desert. This is the highest point that we came to today. It's absolutely incredible. I'm gonna leave you with that. As always, if you wanna stay up to date on these adventures, on these videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. I'll see you later.